Good morning. Today is going to be all about pasta. And we're all going to talk about not only pasta, but healthy eating and pasta. When you think about healthy eating, what do you think about? Number one, it's important to cut back on the amount of saturated fat, cholesterol, and total fat. The other thing you want to do with healthy eating is you want to increase the amount of vegetables and grain in the diet. What better way to do that than to throw some pasta together? Today, we're going to have pasta with a thick uh, tomato sauce that's full of vegetables, and you can perhaps serve a side salad with it, and you're on your way to a healthy lifestyle. I think you're going to enjoy this. Come on, cook some pasta with us today. You know, in making a pasta meal, one of the things you certainly want to consider is the pasta that you choose. And you know what? If you go to the market, there is a wide variety of sizes and forms that are out there for you. So I want to just kind of talk about a few of these this morning before we start to cook the pasta. Today, of course, I am going to be working with the spaghetti. And any of the pasta that you buy, you can either get the white enriched or you can get the whole grain. The whole grain and the whole wheat, of course, is going to give you more benefit because you're going to get more fiber and you're going to get more of your vitamins and minerals there. So the recommendation is to go with the whole wheat. But if you do not prefer whole wheat alone, why not do a combination of the two? Do a half of this and a half of that in your cooking. So the other thing I want to show you is all the different forms that are out there for you to use. You have the shells. Of course, you have twisted uh, pasta. You even have cute little bow ties. And then, of course, you're very familiar with the long plank-like pasta that is like the lasagna. And then, of course, you have noodles. You have every shape and every form, and it comes in different thickness. And, of course, how you cook it is going to make the difference, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. You want to have a good pasta? It's all about the sauce. So come with me as we kind of learn a few of the ingredients that can go into the sauce to make it a very wonderful one. You're trying to make a main meal, which is going to be your, your main dish for the, for the day, then add the meat to it. You can add turkey. Of course, you can add chicken. It could be beef or pork. Today, I'm going to be working with turkey as that is one of the leanest ones. Now, you can also add a variety of vegetables, and those vegetables could be any vegetables you so choose. And what I chose today is going to be carrots, uh, green peppers and onions. There's a wide variety of spices that you can add. It can be thyme, it can be oregano, it could be uh, bay leaves, it could be your choice. You can experiment around with those. Uh, today, of course, I'll be using just two of those spices. Let's just say you don't have time to actually make your own sauce and you want it for convenience, you want it to be easy, you want it to come bring it out of a jar, out of a can. Uh, maybe you want to get one of the dry mixes. Of course you can do that, but guess what the drawback is? When you use these, number one, it's going to take that uh, experimentation away from you so you can add more spices to it. The other drawback is that it's going to be higher in sodium and it's going to be higher in sugar. So I would suggest make it make your own. And again, we don't want to forget the chunk tomatoes that's going to go in and make a wonderful sauce today. Come. Now we're off to making the sauce. And the very first thing I'm going to do, because this is going to be my main dish, I'm going to add the turkey. And remember we're using turkey today. The oil is already uh, piping hot. And of course, we're using olive oil today. We only have to stir this in just for a few minutes until it turns white, and then we add the vegetables. Okay. Today, what I'm stirring up is the ground turkey, but you could use ground beef, and you could also use sausage. But I chose the turkey today because that is the leanest. And what I'm doing is just making sure that this turkey is, is uh, no longer pink and it's turned white, and it's about ready for us to throw the vegetables in now. So what we're going to add to the turkey, we're going to add the onions that's already chopped up. I don't generally measure it, neither do you. We're going to add the carrots. You can have more or less of any one of these. And we're going to add the green pepper. And of course, we are going to add the garlic. If you like more garlic, you can always add more. I just chose to add a teaspoon today. And we're going to stir this, and we're going to let this cook until the vegetables are tender which is going to take probably another three to five minutes. Now that those first group of vegetables are ready that I added, I'm going to add, continue to add more vegetables. So now we're going to dump in the tomatoes. And of course we have the oregano and we also have the thyme. That we have, we're using the fresh today. You can also use the dried. And we have two teaspoons, but when you use a dried, you can always use just a little bit less of it. And then also, 
we're going to stir in the tomato paste. And I haven't found a real easy way to get it out of the can. And so those of you that are watching can probably come teach me how to do this. But in the meantime, just bear with me as I take it out. So we have one can of tomato paste. We are going to add a quarter of a cup of water. And I'm going to make use of that water. We want to get every drop we can out of there. And then we also add one teaspoon of sugar. That's not a lot of sugar for a whole recipe. And then salt and pepper you add to taste. And of course you can just add a little bit. And of course I'm not measuring this. You might not call this a little bit but to this whole recipe. And I'm going to add a, a dash of salt. And again, you remember, you can always add a little bit more. And what we're going to do is we're going to stir this. I might have to add a little bit more water because if the tomatoes is real juicy, you might not have to add water. If the tomatoes are not very juicy, you might want to add. So I think I'm going to have to add a little bit more water because I'm going to have to now bring this to a boil and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. And then we'll check it again. Now, while the sauce is cooking, what we're going to do is we're going to get the pasta going. And it's very important that the water is already hot and boiling. The other point to remember in terms of making a pasta is you need to have plenty of water. As a matter of fact, if you read the instructions on the back of any package, it's going to tell you to have about four cups of water for this entire package. If you don't have enough water, you're going to have a very gummy pasta. Watch me as I cook this now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a blend and I break my pasta. I'm not real sure how you want to put yours in a hole or not. It just happens to cook better and I can eat it easier. And so I am going to actually add a half whole wheat. And this is a whole wheat pasta that I'm placing in here right now. If you do not like the taste of whole wheat, uh, maybe, and you want to increase your fiber intake, maybe what you want to do is you want to go half whole wheat and half half white. That's what we're doing right now as we're stirring it in. Remember, the water is boiling. The other thing that is going to be very important for you to remember is that it's going to be very important for you to stir it right away. Because when you stir it, you're going to keep it from sticking to each other and sticking to the bottom of the pot. Some recipes will tell you to add salt. I don't know that there is any magic to adding salt uh, to the pasta as it is cooking. Okay, It generally will take between 6 and 12 minutes to have a pasta... Uh, cook to um, well doneness. It depends upon whether it's a thick pasta or whether it's a very thin. The very thin would be like spaghetti, very thick would be more like the lasagna. So it could take between 6 and 15 minutes to cook pasta. But a good way you can check it after about maybe 6 to 7 minutes, you can just fish out a piece, break it, see if it have any white spots or streaks in it. If it doesn't, it means it's ready. It's ready for the sauce. So we're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes. So as you can see, the sauce is ready now. It's cooked for about 30 minutes. You could add about another 15 if you needed to. I don't think there's any need. I think the consistency is fine here. So it's all ready for the pasta. The pasta is complete. I've already drained it. What we have here is a nice blend of a white and a whole wheat. It gives it a different color, doesn't it? It's going to give you a little bit of different taste too. But the pasta is all ready for this marriage to take place between the pasta and the sauce. Now the pasta is ready to be served. Colorful, healthy. You got your grain and vegetables all in there. And if you notice on the plate, we're looking at a serving size of a cup. So we have this pasta meal all together. It was quick, easy to fix. It took about 45 minutes to get it on the plate. And so I want you to remember a few things. In cooking pasta, make sure you add plenty of water. Make sure you don't overcook because when you overcook, it's going to become very gummy. Remember, it's a very healthy meal because it's going to be low in fat, saturated fat and cholesterol. It's going to be high in vegetables. Guess what? It's quick. It's inexpensive. The whole family will enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy cooking pasta too.